How's it going? It's Attorney Tidi Thoreau with American Legal Immigration Center in the DMV of the United States, bringing you another episode of Immigration Dream University. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. If you are returning and you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, if you're returning, that means that you do find the information valuable and I will continue to bring you valuable information so we can grow this community together. All right, guys, so I have a very quick announcement, um, and this is in regards to those of you who have TPS and you have traveled and you have been admitted back into the country on that status. Maybe in the past, when you initially entered the United States, you did not enter with permission, so that would be entry without inspection. So you were not inspected at that time, but since then, you were able to get TPS, temporary protected status, and um, you have gotten advanced parole traveled outside of the United States and then came back through a port of entry where you were actually inspected and admitted. So before there were all these um, stipulations and just going back and forth as to whether or not you could adjust your status to become a lawful permanent resident um, once you've entered on TPS. And in some instances the answer was yes and in other instances the answer still remained no. Essentially USCIS recently rescinded a um, a case, it was a matter of ZRZC, and um, it, uh, they also renewed a path to permanent residency. So if you have TPS and you have traveled outside of the United States and you come back in and you were inspected and paroled, meaning that you passed through the port of entry, um, went through, you saw the, the U.S. border officials, then check with an attorney. Hello. Check with an attorney and see if you could possibly change your status to that of a permanent resident. When you are a lawful permanent resident, you can keep this status essentially for the rest of your life as long as you do not do anything to cause the government to rescind that status. You no longer need a work permit to work and you can travel back and forth outside of the United States. There are some guidelines. You don't want to travel for more than six months at a time, definitely no more than a year. Um, so even if you do travel outside of the United States, you want to make sure that you your feet touch the soil of the United States at least before a six month period, definitely before a one year period. Don't definitely if you can for whatever, don't let it go to one year. That's only an emergency situation. So always try to keep it below the six months. Um, that's the law that you should do that and there are exceptions but it's only in certain, it, it has to be very, um, an emergency um, circumstance. So if you can get that lawful permanent resident status, you should do that even if you do have temporary protected status because it's just that it's temporary, it's not going to be around forever. Um, so you want to get that lawful permanent resident status. All right, guys, so I hope that this information was helpful. As usual, um, please do like and subscribe, as I said before. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.